Hi, I'm Hannah Howard with the Local Roundup. So we might not know how important a toilet really is to us until it's been closed. If you've been on Molas or Coal Bank Passes recently and desperately needed a toilet, you can thank San Juan County for coming to the rescue. The Forest Service in December said it might have to close the restrooms because of budget cuts. But San Juan County scrounged its budget this spring and managed to come up with nearly $23,000 to keep these outhouses open. By the way, Colorado State Patrol has gotten a report about a stranger at Molas Pass filming bathrooms. That would be our photographer. And while you're out enjoying the beautiful scenery, be careful of fires. The weather was pretty brutal yesterday for firefighters working on the Asahi Fire near Gallup. Winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour grounded air attack crews and low humidity made it difficult to get any containment on the fire. It has now grown to over 13,000 acres, which is approximately 17 square miles. Both Sheep Springs and Nashiti remain evacuated. Better weather is expected today, allowing both air and ground crews to hopefully gain some containment on this wildfire. Closer to home in Mancus, the board approves pot shop regulations. The town took a big step on June 11th to allow the sale of recreational marijuana by approving shop regulations. The regulations were revised after months of discussion. A majority of the board has continuously voiced support for legalizing the sale of marijuana to help the town generate revenue. But others worry that it could turn into an addiction for young people. Nevertheless, it has been approved. Are you a pet lover? Don't miss this weekend's Four Corners Pet Expo. In fact, you can enjoy a great bottle of wine from the Four Leaves Winery with part of the proceeds benefiting the La Plata County Humane Society. The Pet Expo is a great family event, so bring the kiddos, pick up a bottle of wine, and maybe a new toy for your pet. Are you feeling nostalgic about the 80s? Would you like to hear more Whitney Houston, Nirvana, or maybe Eddie Murphy on your radio station? Well, now you can. 92.9 and 99.7 Durango's local radio station, The Point, has undergone a dramatic programming makeover to appeal to a younger demographic. With consumers flocking to streaming services like Pandora and Spotify, The Point keeps its audience because it's local and people here appreciate local. And local strong men got to show off their guns at the Farmington Strongman competition. Competitors were challenged to lift, carry, and pull hundreds of pounds. Check it out today at 3 p.m. on In the Neighborhood right here on FourCornersTV.com. So get this, a developer mistakenly built a $1.8 million waterfront home on park land and now he has to remove it. The developer began building the house in 2009 and didn't discover the error until 2011 when he tried to sell it and ran into problems with the survey. The land is owned by the Rose Nolman Park Foundation and therefore the house must be removed. What a disappointing mistake. This has been your local roundup. Thanks for watching. I'm Hannah Howard on FourCornersTV.com.